What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of A Life With Cars today. Today I am happy to announce I finally got a new car. But it's already broken, so let's jump right into what's broken on this thing. But first, just to show you in all of its glory, here she is. Aw yeah, Acura Integra sedan. So yeah, what we have here guys is a 1995 Acura Integra GSR sedan. It has the 2000 front end conversion on it. And it's a pretty clean car all the way around. One or two little nicks and dings in the actual body. So it's a pretty clean shell. And uh, as you see, you got freaking cold in Illinois. Frosty, man. We have a bunch of new things happening with this car. This is the new project card for the channel, so you guys are going to see a ton of this. I also bought it as a new daily driver to give the Mercedes just a little bit of a break on uh, mileage and uh, so it doesn't keep taking all the money from my pocketbook and gas. But as it goes, we have a bunch of problems with this car. Of course, it's a 250,000 mile Honda. Uh, you know, you, you're not gonna get away from something that's not gonna have problems. So starting off, these wheels. These wheels are junk. I got some new ones. Uh, they actually just showed up the other day, so we're gonna get those mounted and balanced, and you guys are gonna see those on the car this week. We will have a video episode about that. This wheel is cracked. On the other side, there is a bent wheel also. Um, the only other issue with the actual body, like I said, there's one or two little dings, and then you have your typical little bit of rust where it's starting right where the bumper meets the, the body there. But as it goes for the interior, it's got one of those crappy, like, car alarms or whatever. That doesn't work all the time. <laughs> so, as you guys see, interior is actually really nice. I mean, dude kept it pretty clean, or I think, I think the dude flipped the car to me, but uh, at the same time, he kept it pretty clean while he had it, cleaned it up a little more. Little piece of material falling off that door panel. I think we can glue that back down. And whoever the hell did this with the steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> so, all the interior options work. Heat, AC, everything. Like I said, it's a GSR, so it runs well. But yeah, guys, this is actually going to be the future K-Swap car for the channel. So I'm in the process of gathering all the components for that swap and it's just, it's its gonna be a cool little car, I can't wait. Um, future spoiler alert, it very, very well could potentially be all wheel drive down the road. But that is in another episode. But let's just take this thing out for a little quick drive. I'm gonna clear off these windows and we'll just take it down the road and back real quick, show you, show you a little bit with the car. It drives horrible, I promise. We also have some problems with the suspension. Uh, everything's, everything's gone. I mean, there's not a usable component of this suspension in my mind. I mean, all the ball joints squeak. The the struts and shocks on the front are gone, man. I'm, I'm so, I mean, it's a shame because the car looks great. Where it's actually sitting, you know, at its ride height, it does scrape a little bit. So out here in the country, it's an issue. But uh, yeah, man, it's cached in there. Some junk, junk, junk suspension, but yeah. Let's take this thing on down the road real quick. And of course, just like a Honda, hasn't ran, hasn't ran for over a week, should start right up. Of course it does. Oh yeah, e-brake sticks a little bit too. You know, it's, uh, it, cable's either just stretched or needs adjusted. We'll get that fixed at some point. But yeah, tranny shift's good, GSR, also. Oh, I guess you gotta have it on, there. Back up camera, that's pretty cool. Heat, AC, everything works like I said, so. All right, now that that's done, let's uh, go take her for a ride. She should be pretty much warmed up and uh, we got air in the tire, yay. I went to go have that fixed by the way and I thought it could be like maybe a nail or something like that. Yeah, cracked rim. It happens. Alright, let's hop in. Alright guys, let's go for a ride. 
As you guys can tell, dude, this guy had this car tinted, tinted out. Even the windshield is tinted. Probably like a, at least a 40 or 35% tint. It's crazy. I hate that. But a little bit of razor blade, a little bit of soapy water, a little bit of heat gun, and some time. Take that right off. As we're getting on the road here, let's talk about uh, why I bought this car. Um, you know, I got an Integra sedan because, quite frankly, everybody's got a Civic. Everybody's got an RSX. Everybody's got, uh, you know, any a Del Sol, anything quirky or weird Honda. You know, everybody's got the two-door Integra too. Um, but I wanted to do something a little different, so I was looking for several weeks for a nice little four-door. And I happened to find this one. And it's not too bad, you know. Future plans for this car, as you know, guys. Uh, we like to get into case swaps here in a life with cars. As you, you've seen the CRX, you've seen the uh, hatch. Now this is my case swap car. So finally I'm going to jump into it and uh, see, what I can, see what I can do. So what we're going to do is... I'm not going to spoil the whole surprise yet, but it's going to be a case series. It's going to potentially, eventually be all-wheel drive. Um, but we need your help. We need your support. If you guys could like and subscribe, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really, really is going to help us out. We're getting close to our goals for monetization, and uh, I feel like this project may, uh, may get us there. So if you guys could just maybe take a couple seconds, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It's really going to help us out. Um, but as it goes, we have more updates coming with the hatchback. Uh, we, we're going to have an update with Neil CRX, too, that you guys just saw that K24 put in. That car is a badass car, and we're excited that, that you can actually enjoy it and drive it now versus that K20 that was in it before. Um, as you know, it's a sound car. It's uh, It needed that extra torque to move around those, uh, those the extra weight of those speakers. Um, but yeah, so this, this is the K-Swap car for me. And I think it's cool because it's a quirky little weird sedan. Most people have never seen an Integra sedan, at least around here. Um, let's kind of talk about uh, what I got the car for. Quite frankly, you know, a lot of you guys in other parts of the country are going to be like, you probably overpaid a bit for that car there. But around here, we have pretty good Honda techs. And people like to charge just about whatever they want for the Hondas because everybody knows they're just so gosh darn reliable. But so yeah, I got this car for 2800 bucks. Ah, I see it scrapes. It's it's low, man. Um, I got the car for 2800 bucks, and uh, it's not bad. I probably could have got it cheaper in other parts of the country, but around here, man, there's there's people that are trying to sell like a for example, it was a 98 Honda Civic sedan. It was an LX, so it had power windows and everything. At over 240,000 original miles, the body was clean, but the guy wanted $3,500 firm. And there's no way in my mind, with the amount of Civic sedans and coupes and everything that I've purchased in the past for under $1,000 and driven and beat the hell out of, there is no way in my mind that I would ever pay $3,500 for that car. So at least this thing's a little sportier. It's it's a GSR. It's already a B swap car. Uh, well, I should say B, B series from the factory. Uh, 160 170 horsepower motor it's not bad uh we'll just give it a little taste here now she's warmed up <laughs> it is fun to rope through those gears back in the honda game man i really already love this car once the suspension's fixed up we get an alignment on it the new wheels and tires it's going to be a good little driver for a little bit while i gather the parts for the k-swap so, uh, but I just wanted to take you guys on a little ride and kind of show off the car to you for the first time. So this is the new K-Swap car, and uh, we're really excited to have it in the family. Uh, you're going to see a lot of things happening to this thing. Uh, real soon. The projects are starting real soon. But for now, guys, we're pulling back up to the house. I got to get going. Actually, as I said, I got those wheels and tires, so that's going to be for... Uh, this week's episode you'll see those wheels and tires going on the car and uh then we have the suspension reveal you'll see that soon also and uh yeah so this is the integra guys this is the future uh the future little bit of the channel at least you guys are gonna see a lot of it and i'm stoked and i'm finally 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 able to drive a car 
but it's gonna get better than 17 miles to the gallon. It's getting real old spending all that money on gas in the Mercedes. But thanks again for watching, guys. Please remember, if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's really, really, really gonna help us out. We are so close. We're only about 400 people away from being monetized. We've had our watch time long, long, long ago. Um, so we're just waiting on those last couple people to come in and hit that subscribe button. It's really going to help us out. Like I said, thanks again for watching, guys. This has been another episode of A Life With Cars. If you want to follow along with some behind-the-scenes insights with the channel, uh, follow us on Instagram at A Life With Cars, all one word, obviously. And uh, we will see you next time. Cheers, guys.